Hello there, I'm excited to show you how you can make a 3D printed object like this iPhone cover all using Photoshop CC as well as some other programs that I'm going to get into but I'm going to start off with the basics going from Photoshop CC uh, clear to having it printed uh, then I'm going to get into some tips that will really help you craft the item that you're looking to create now starting off in Photoshop notice how I have this text layer right here with some warped text okay so I can take any layer go to 3d and from there I can extrude that selected layer and I can start to rotate around and I'm actually changing the view but this is actually my 3d object in fact I encourage you to change the workspace to 3d if it doesn't change automatically because there's some panels you need to keep in mind and there's two in fact as I pull out this panel right here it's gonna be this 3d panel and the properties panel so notice how it made basically this smart object so consider this a smart object that actually has this entire scene inside of this 3d panel that exists and notice how I can select the current view okay notice how it says custom view because that's what I was doing I was manipulating the view of this particular 3d object okay and I can start to change the view go from left to top you get the idea adjusting seeing that content uh, viewing it uh, the way I want to view it. I'll go back to the default camera, which is nice. I can always go back here. You'll start to notice the depth of this is pretty drastic and you want to manipulate that. So select that 3D object. It happens to be this icon and right over here in the properties panel, it gives you the extrusion depth. So I can adjust that, maybe make it a little thinner. Coming in, I can start to deform it. So if I did want to twist this maybe uh, 20 degrees, I can twist it 20 degrees and taper it uh, as well maybe it tapers off after a while so I can change that accordingly so there's a lot of fun things that you can do right here in Photoshop uh, keep in mind lastly what I will do is I will go into the coordinates and I'm gonna change the coordinates to inches okay and you can see right down there on the bottom and you can see the measurement so I get an idea of how big or small this object is so there's your 3d object from there again this is just the quick and dirty uh, tutorial I'll dive into how you can manipulate this more in a second but what you want to do now is you want to check out the 3d print settings it's going to go into the properties panel and it's gonna have this option selected and it's gonna print to shapeways.com or if I have my own 3d printer I could do that of course chances are you'll do shapeways.com you get to select the type of print material which is great so you have all this material you're probably wondering what it looks like well I encourage you to go to shapeways.com and take a look under make and sell here's some of the objects that I've been working on but if I take a look at the material portfolio this is where you can get an idea of the different material available everything from plastic to metals to ceramics to precious metals I personally like the just strong flexible plastic since I'm making an iPhone case that seems appropriate but I might want to keep in mind that I want to go with a a white strong and flexible plastic all right and we can always change that later but that's what I'm doing the white strong and flexible I get an idea of the size which is great and then from there right down here all you have to do is start print and this is a warning that will come up sometimes is it's basically saying it's too big because there is a cap on the size when it comes to uh, this particular object notice how it says it's 27 inches tall that's huge so I probably want to scale that down let's make this two inches by one inch and what I'll do next is start print. It will go through and uh, basically take any of that structure and combine it. If elements are too thin, it will ask you to add any sort of scaffolding. And you can see that it is going to give me actually an estimated purchase price. So again, right in here, the white, strong, flexible, about $5 to create this item you see right here what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and export out this particular item and upload to Shapeways so exporting this as create now and then it says you need to go to shapeways.com to complete this so I'll select yes here I am where I can select my file upload it 
and here it is. Here's the model. I can then even change the material as you see right down here. So from there you can select your material and it will be printed and sent to you roughly between five and ten days. So now let's take a look at some additional things you can do, some things to watch out for uh, going beyond a simple extrude. And you can make a mesh from various presets or what you could even do is you can get more content. You can get various items, but I want to get models and meshes. And from there, it'll just point you to four different sites where you can jump out and search for what you want. And that's what I did. I downloaded it from one of these sites, a 3D model. All I need to do is go in here, 3D, new 3D layer from a file. There's my iPhone OBJ, bringing that in, and here's my model. Okay. So I can do different, uh, different manipulations to this item, but I can only do so much. Like I can't punch a hole in it. I can't add a ton to it or, or really manipulate this. It would take a 3D program to do that, which is why I would use a 3D program such as Strata Design 3D. It gives you the ability to create what you want in 3D. Uh, again, I can add in, say, a rounded cube if I want to, but basically take combine items, manipulate items much easier than you can in Photoshop because this is a 3D program. Now, I've tried SketchUp and Blender and some of the free apps, but honestly, those are for very specific markets, and you get what you pay for seeing as it's free. This here is $70, allows me to do what I want. In this case, all I need to do is really just take this object and knock it out of the iPhone. So all I need to do is position that so it does punch a hole through right over here. Notice how I can use the subtract tool, select one from the other, and then you're good to go. Another tip is to use Illustrator, okay? So you can use Illustrator to create uh, complex objects, which is what I did for the iPhone. And then in Photoshop, I can paste that in as a shape layer. And at this point, for that shape, make it a 3D extrusion from that selected layer. Now you do need to potentially combine elements. Go down to Group All Objects in Scene. Now, obviously, I would have wanted to line this up and everything accordingly. But nonetheless, that's what I did for my final version this object is ready using a 3D program as well as Illustrator to create this particular object. So from there, it's the same process of going into 3D printing, uh, picking my material, and really hitting the print button to send to Shapeways. And what you end up with is this custom iPhone cover that cost me about $25, totally custom. So go ahead and give this a try in Photoshop CC and make sure you have the latest update.